Hello everyone. Welcome back to Emmanuel Tutorials. Today we will be seeing a sketch the signal example which was asked by multiple students in our comment section. It's a ramp example. Before we start, please do like, share and subscribe to Emmanuel Tutorials for more. Also, if you have any doubts related to signals and systems or any other concept in electronics or com computer science engineering, please do let us know in the comments and we'll try to help you. So let's start. Let's divide our signal into parts. So this is the first part, second part, third part and all our ramp signals. First is a unit ramp, second is a shifted and amplitude scaled ramp, third is a shifted ramp. And for the first signal, we know that unit ramp signal starts from zero and ends to infinity with amplitude of t. So at t equal to 1 amplitude is going to be 1 t equal to 2 amplitude is going to be 2 and so on so it's a 45 degree line and for the second part that is 2 r of t minus 1 r of t minus 1 is a delayed version that is shifted to the right version by one of the unit ramp signal so that is what i have drawn here so now at 2 the amplitude is going to be 1, 3 the amplitude is going to be 2 and so on. And then when you amplitude scale it by 2, these values are going to be multiplied by 2 at each of the instances. So here at 2 the first signal's amplitude is 1. So in our resultant signal is going to be 1 into 2 which is 2. At 3 it's going to be 2 into 2 which is 4. At 4 it's going to be 3 into 2 which is 6 and so on. Now we have got our second part of the signal. Now for the third part or before we draw the third part let's subtract the second part from the first second signal from the first. That is r of t minus 2 r of t minus 1. So here First signal's amplitude is 0 at 0. Second signal's amplitude is 0 at 0. So 0 minus 0 is going to be 0. That is what we can plot here. At 1, first signal's amplitude is 1. Second signal's amplitude is 0. So again, 1 minus 0 is going to be 1. And as I said in one of the earlier videos, when you have a 0 in the second signal, and you are going to add or subtract both of these signals. You can draw the shape as it is of the first signal. Which will help you find it easier to plot the signal. Or you can do one more thing is take the slope and try to find out slope. Or you can take a midpoint here. So you can say at 0.5 you know that the signal's value is 0.5. And here it is 0. So anyways it's going to be 0.5 minus 0 which is 0.5 which you can plot here and then just uh, join these points but drawing the shape of the signal as it is will be easier now at 2 uh, at 1 we have put the point at 2 the first signal's amplitude is 2 and second signal's amplitude is 2 so 2 minus 2 is 0 so we get it here at 1 similarly we have a slope of 1 here and a slope of 2 here. So even though you are going to subtract both ramps, you are going to get another ramp which is going to be a decreasing ramp here as a shape. So usually when you have two ramp signals, when you subtract both, you will get a step if the slopes are the same. But here you can see that the slope is different because here as the Ampl uh, time is increasing the amplitude is going to increase linearly here also it's increasing linearly but with an amplitude scale version so it's going to be twice of that so the slope is going to uh, mu be multiplied by 2 so we are going to again get a slope or a ramp kind of signal only as the shape here or a, a triangular shape which is which you are getting from 0 to 2 and from 3 3 what is the first signal's amplitude it is 3. Second signal's amplitude is 4. So 3 minus 4 is minus 1. So you can plot that point. At 4, first signal's amplitude is 4. Second signal's amplitude is 6. 
so 4 minus 6 is minus 2 and this is going to continue to infinity because both of these signals are going to continue to infinity with the same slope now what we have is the last part of the signal which we are going to add to this last part of the signal is r of t minus 2 which is a shifted version and a delayed version to the right by 2 of the unit ramp signal so the same signal you are going to shift to the right by 2 so here amplitude is going to be 1 at 3 2 at 4 3 at 5 and so on and last thing we need to do is add these two signals so here I can just write that this is 1 minus 2 this is the first part and this is the second part so 1 minus 2 is this and now we are going to add 1 minus 2 to the third part of the signal now let's add extreme left is 0 so 0 the first signal's amplitude is 0 second signal's amplitude is 0 so resultant signal's amplitude is going to be 0 at 1 first signal's amplitude is 1 second signal's amplitude is 0 so again 1 minus 0 is 1 and you can draw the signal as it is at 2 first signal's amplitude is 0 second signal's amplitude is 0 so again here it is resultant signal's point is going to be at 0 again you can draw the signal as it is because second signal is 0 until 2 at 3 first signal's amplitude is minus 1 second signal's amplitude is plus 1 so minus 1 plus 1 is going to be 0 at 4 first signal's amplitude is minus 2 second signal's amplitude is plus 2 so minus 2 plus 2 is going to be 0 at 5 first signal's amplitude is minus 3 and second signal's amplitude is plus 3 so minus 3 plus 3 is going to be 0 and this is going to continue to infinity so this behavior of amplitude 0 is going to continue to infinity so we are going to get only this as the final output so from 0 to 2 we have a triangular shaped signal with a maximum amplitude as 1 so hope you understood this if you have any doubt related to this video or any other concept in signals and systems or electronics or computer science engineering please let us know in the comments and we will try to help you also do like share and subscribe to manual tutorials for more thank you for watching